We call the uh, committee of the whole uh, to order. And uh, we just have uh, one item on our uh, agenda tonight, and that is an update from the Municipal Arts Commission. And I see we have a few of our arts commissioners here in the room with us already, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to Jesse Katarski uh, to get us started. Great, thank you. I'm pleased to be joined tonight by, as, as you mentioned, a few of the commissioners from the Municipal Arts Commission, and I'm happy to introduce you to the chair of the commission, Ms. Mary Clymer, um, who is joined as well this evening by Neil Sheasley. Uh, the team will be presenting on the grants art program and sharing an update on the initial round of funding that supports programming projects and events that are scheduled to take place this spring and fall. So without further ado, Mary, I'll turn it over to you. Thank you, Jesse. Um, so hello to mayor and council and a nice warm welcome to our newest uh, council members, Alberson and Rivera. Um, we've been very blessed to have the support of council and we look forward to working with all of council and you two new members as well um, to keep this awesome line of communication open. So thank you for this opportunity and thank you to Neil for being here with me tonight. It is an honor. Uh, it is an honor to be tasked with the responsibility of providing Renton with a vibrant arts community. So I'd like to, before I begin, just take a quick moment to just recognize Jesse Kartowski and Chip Vincent for whom play an active role as a voice for us within City Hall. Their dedication and support have been instrumental to our success. The Written Municipal Arts Commission offers grants to individuals, organizations, and community groups for arts and culture pro projects and events that serve the general public here in Renton. The Commission encourages innovative projects by artists and communities that fill in cultural gaps and inspire new forms of creative participation, particularly for underserved groups. These flexible grants are designed to create access for individuals and groups outside of city funded festivals and events. In 2021, the grants program funded 68 unique pop-up performances throughout the city featuring 27 performing artists and bands through the wildly successful Renton Roadshow program. 55 artists and art organizations received funding for cultural art performances, art-related programming, and activities that serve residents and visitors. Over $108,000 were awarded to artists and art and culture organizations through this grants program last year. 23 public art pieces were created and displayed throughout the city. 87 art performances and other events with free or reduced tickets were made available to the public with support from the Arts Commission. And we have 13 dedicated commissioners who've donated over 2,000 hours of service to the Renton community. So one comment we received from Christy uh, Caraveglio, who created a stunning woven installation along the fence at Ron Regis Park for her grant received in 2021 was, I am grateful to have the opportunity and funding to create art in Renton. As I created my installation, community members were so friendly and encouraging. This program provides a wonderful benefit for artists and the community. This year, we're offering two rounds of funding with awards ranging from $1,000 to $10,000. The initial round closed on Wednesday, February 16th, and this was a short grants cycle, and it still produced 18 applicants with a total funding request of over $123,000. So 
So I would like to note here that this total requested amount of $123,000 exceeds our entire budget for the year. These grants have become highly competitive and show the growing need for this type of funding in our area, as well as highlights the work done by the commission during this challenging time to get the word out about this valuable arts and cultural funding resource. I will also note that this was a short grant cycle and we anticipate even more requests in the next round. This influenced how conservative we needed to be in our decision-making process. Priority was given to projects and events scheduled between March and June of this year. The Grants Committee, which is a subcommittee of the Commission, reviewed the applications extensively, and they evaluated each proposal on the illustrated ability to showcase cultural diversity, increase understanding, and inspire new forms of, cre of creative participation and opportunities for growth, again, particularly with underserved groups. The committee made their final recommendations to the full commission at the meeting on March 1st. After a lengthy conversation, the commission approved funding for the proposals that best demonstrated in alignment with the mission of the Arts Commission to enrich and increase participation and awareness of the culture and artistic community. In total, seven proposals were approved for funding. A total commitment of, uh, Oh my goodness, a total commitment of $33,841 in this initial round of grant funding. The grant recipients included are Allied Arts Creative Kids Art Contest, Ballet Dior Juneteenth Celebration, a mural on the new home of the Evergreen City Ballet in downtown Renton, the 2022 concert series hosted by Key to Change, support for the awards for the cosplay competition for the 2022 King Kong Northwest event, support for a community art project hosted at the Multicultural Festival in May, a documentary of the Black Lives Matters uh, street art project created by the OWL project. The awards will be announced tomorrow on March 15th and contracts will be executed to each of the grant recipients. The commission will work with the grant recipients to promote and encourage engagement between the project coordinator and the written community. The second round of funding is now open and the deadline to apply is Thursday, May 5th of this year. We are so pleased to be able to support all of the fabulous art programming available in Renton and to our community. And we truly appreciate this council for your understanding of this critical role that art plays in providing for a diverse, and vital economy for our city. We thank you for your time tonight and we welcome any questions. Thank you, Mary, for that presentation. Oh, and there we are, we got everyone back on screen. Um, are there any questions from council for uh, Mary or uh, Neil or Jesse? Council Member Rivera. I'll just say that this was amazing and I'm really excited for the money that we were able or you were able to give to these amazing communities and I'm particularly excited about the documentary so thank you for this great presentation. Thank you yeah we um, have been so fortunate um, and just for you Council Member Rivera and Albertson since you're new we have come a long way um, over the last decade because of the outreach um, with 
this, you know, with the council and the mayor and with the support of Jesse and Chip in the city, we have come so far and it has been so great to be able to continue to work with groups that have been underserved and really branch out for there. So thank you for saying that. Uh, next hand I see raised is uh, Councilmember Prince. Thank you, Mr. President. Mary, I remember a conversation you and I had some time ago in Luther's table about the Arts Commission um, and funding for the Arts Commission and how much the Arts Commission could do if it received more funding. And after this presentation, um, I've, all, I've known for a long time, but you were so spot on. I'm so proud of what you all have been able to do uh, with the funding that you get and uh, been a true asset to our community. So thank you so much for all the work that you and all the Arts Commissioners do. Thank you. Well, and again, thank you for letting our voices be heard. I mean, I can't tell you enough. We, the 13 commissioners that we have right now are so dedicated and really um, spend so much time getting out there, talking to people and really getting involved. And it's been amazing the amount of new faces that we're starting to see. And I think during this pandemic, it's been such a, um, artists are really struggling and it's been seen like we know it and we could all fill it in our lives concerts are missing um, public events are missing and we're missing that connection and art binds us together so this crew these commissioners are a phenomenal group and i know i mentioned neil and i just want to say i see Kay has come in the room and so is susan so i just wanted to acknowledge them as well thank you Thank you. And yes, I, was, I wasn't sure I was going to give shout outs to our other commissioners, but I was like, I think they are. I want to make sure. But yes, welcome. Uh, next, uh, I see Councilmember Vaughn. Thank you, Council Chair. Um, thank you for the presentation, Mary, and thank you for all the work that um, the Commission's doing. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to the Multicultural Festival and the uh, every year there's always something added on and it's just um phenomenal work you guys are doing so thank you so much thank you cam and also for all of you know you guys are such a great resource um for us because you are our voice in the city and please continue to reach out i think to your networks as well because that helps us just seep further and further into um different groups that maybe aren't aware that there's funding for this. And um, as you can see, already our funding isn't enough. And that's one of the hardest tasks that we have as commissioners is really, um, all art is so important. So really getting through to the meat and picking through what is gonna be vital for the most people. Thank you, uh, Council Member Perez. Thank you. Great seeing you all. And again, Mary, I always say thank you for your passion, commitment, and uh, to all of the uh, commissioners, um, Katie, Neil, Susan, and the other, and all the 13, for all the passion, enthusiasm, and love. Uh, we keep forgetting that you guys are volunteers because you are so committed uh that uh, sometimes we feel like you're full workers you know staff members doing this job and know it's your love for the community i have to say mary that i'm very excited and very proud that i see that there are two projects from the whole project because i remember two years ago when i talked to mina the first time that she can apply for a grant she thought that was the work grant for her was like a lot of paperwork and just a lot of hoops you know to get where she wanted and i talked to you and to you jesse as well and i say just make sure to hold her hand and help her with the with the paper so so i'm very happy to see that she she followed through and you guys helped her to to get uh because we want to make this easier. We don't want people to hear grants and feel like, oh no, my God, this is another bureaucratic process that I have to go through. So I'm very happy to see that, that people are applying and be, be more familiar. And I do, uh, with Council Member Prince, I do agree with him. Uh, uh, adding adding uh, a, a appropriate, uh, again, 
money was very important for these projects. And I think that the fact that we should keep considering our budget, you know, to to appropriate enough funds for keep uh, embracing the arts uh, in our city is very important as, as, as we move forward. So again, thank you very much to all of you. Thank you, Ruth. Um, yeah, we, I mean, the, it is just more and more, I think people need this kind of support. And thank you for bringing up Nina because she's a great example of somebody who, you know, it is a process and we do have, um, we now have a video online that helps people learn how to apply and how to kind of walk through the steps. And she was very, is very passionate and even she's had a lot of health challenges she continues to go through and has still shown her passion for this. And it just shows that, you know, when people want something, they're willing to work through it and work with us. And we want to work with people and make it happen. We don't get pleasure out of telling people no for a project. <laughs> um, so it is something we really want to cultivate these relationships. So um, that was a, that's a great example. But there is online tutorials to help people um, through what we would like to see when we get a grant from them as well. That's Dr. Alverson. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, good stuff, Mary. Uh, mine is a logistical question, kind of tied into uh, uh, what uh, Councilmember Perez mentioned and what you just mentioned. You know, I'm, I'm sure there's somebody out there, a burgeoning artist and that sort of thing, who has a great idea, wants to do something. I'm, I'm curious what's all in place to even let them know, hey, you know what, apply for a grant and that sort of thing. I, I, you said the tutorial. How all are they, they led to even uh, uh, be aware uh, of this process to 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 get things moving. What's all in place for that? Oh, that's a wonderful question. Thank you for it. Um, there, like I said, on uh, the city page, we do on the Arts Commission page, there is a link to um, a workshop we did. We had just as part of our outreach, um, we're planning to do all these fabulous um, workshops right as we got shut down so the very first one i think was scheduled for april and we uh the world shut down in march and we did it anyway we went online and we did it and we recorded it and it is uh, a resource and then through the last two years what we've started to do is request to show up at things like this um for different cultural groups, different um, schools, organizations, and just say, we are here. Um, and to just be a kind of face, because I think sometimes it's hard for people to reach out to the city. It seems very foreign, very big. Um, and so we are doing a lot of outreach to get in front of people, but a lot of it is word to, of mouth, just getting out. Um, and that's where you guys are such a good resource, again, um, because you have your eye on way more than we do. And again, Jessie in the city, she knows everything that's happening. She has been so good to key us into all the different things so we have an opportunity to um, extend our reach from there. Thank you. Next, I see Council Member O'Halloran. Go ahead. Yes, thank you, Mr. Chair. And um, hello, Mary. Um, I just wanted to say that um, when I first moved here to Renton about 27, 28 years ago, and I met my soon-to-be husband, who was on the Arts Commission, as some of you are aware, for 17 years, um, and I did not understand that the package deal with Michael is that it was a joint responsibility to the Red Municipal Arts Commission, and every summer we were at that booth at the uh, at the Ducky Days, the sorry, the um, Red River Days, and that was a that was a commitment that I didn't I didn't know that was a package deal when I hooked up with Michael that I was going to be spending my summers at the RMAC booth every summer. But but I want to tell you that this organization is a far cry, so much more evolved and so much more professional and efficient and widespread than it was back in that day. And it's just amazing to have watched this growth and, and to be any little part of it is, is really um, just makes me proud and, and Michael's very, very proud of you guys. Uh, thank you for saying so. Um, 
It really is because of the, the city council that we have made it this far. When Michael was involved and um, earlier days, there just wasn't a budget. They were doing so much work with nothing and really just reaching out, sitting down, being able to talk to council members, being able to speak with the mayor and having those opportunities to get in front of people really helped everyone to see that there was that we were missing an opportunity here and that is where the part-time position came in with jesse and really it was when chip started showing up and saying something's going on with this group that is when things changed so thank you but this is you this is because of what's happening with council and your support that we are able to do what we do Thanks, Mary. Well, I will round us out uh, and pile on this uh, our Arts Commission Love Fest um, and echo everything that's been said. Um, to, uh, the the impact in the community yeah, is, is so obvious to me as far as uh, the change that we've seen and how transformative that has been. Um, the, the one that you, you mentioned at least earlier that stood out to me, for sure, among many, um, the, uh, the the work along the fence at Ron Regis Park. That's one that I appreciate every single time. Uh, so, you know, I'm a runner, so I'm out on that trail frequently. And so it's always a bright spot along that trail. Um, outside of the natural beauty as well to see stuff like that along there. Um, the other thing that I just wanted to comment and share, just what you mentioned on live music. Um, it was, I, I uh, my wife and I went to, um, a concert recently and we realized it was like the first concert we'd been to in a while and it was, it was kind of surreal and so that impact of, of the performative and live arts um, that's just been missing so far uh, is so so well taken and noted so hopefully we are um, with this mask mandate being lifted being you know I'm gonna jinx it right here so I'm knocking on wood or something uh, beginning to return to some semblance of normal and we can you know enjoy um, those aspects of the arts community again once again in Renton so um, I want to thank you all uh, for being here tonight. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look around the room, virtual room, one last time for additional questions, comments, uh, or, or any of the other commissioners. If there's any um, anything you wanted to share, uh, this is the opportunity before I close this out. I'm not seeing anyone jumping in. All right. Well, I want to thank you all so much. I uh, always look forward to this presentation and look forward to the good work you are doing and continuing to do in this community. Thank you so much. Um, for your volunteering uh, efforts uh, and what they bring. Thank you, it's our delight, it really is. Thank you. All right, thank you everyone. We'll go ahead and adjourn the committee. We'll reconvene as a full council at 7 p.m. Thanks.